Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to this game tutorial. Today we do a little bit of a progression mechanic again. So, uh, remember how we have multiple loots but we only see three of them in the games? Today we fix that. So, every 20 waves, like right now we're starting on wave 20, you're gonna unlock a loot. So right now we have the plank loot and of course you can sell and all, do all that kind of interaction you do in the game. But now you can also loot it as well. So as you can tell, we just looted the plank and we can sell it again. And if we go back here, we reset the wave progress and then we go back in the game, it's gone. So um, that's what we do today guys and without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so let's go back right into the code and the first place we'll actually look for um, this mechanic is the loot container. Sorry, not the loot container, the loot manager. And um, I think we do have that function we've made a long time ago called something like unlock loot. So let's open up the loot manager real quick and here it is. And if we just scroll down or scroll up a little bit, we can find unlock loot which is right here. Now what we used to do is uh, we get the amount of loot and um, we just unlock the next one. But what, what I think we should be doing um, instead is actually give that an index. So right here I'll add a parameter to that function, I call it int index or loot index and uh, we don't need that line anymore we can change all the index we saw with loot index now what this is going to do is probably gonna make it crash somewhere when we uh, instantiate our first three loots and there it is that's in the game UI so let's double click on that error and this is when the game starts so when the game starts let's go ahead and unlock loot 0, 1 and 2 that's our three first loot that's the uh, the rock, the log, and also the silk. So thus far, it seems great. Um, and now the next place we need to go would be in the game manager because this is where we know when the waves are over. And uh, when we made our loots, we went for 13, which is the amount that um, we actually thought about this amount. So we went for 13, so um, we could do every 20 wave, we get a new loot. Now the three on top of that would be uh, the three first initial loots. So every 20 wave, we should be able to unlock one loot. Now where exactly do we do our equation to find, um, well, we wonder, okay, so here it is. It's in the update at the very end here. Um, a few episodes ago we did this, so every 10 wave we save the progress. Now what we're gonna do is say if current wave oops current wave modulo 20 is equal equal to 0 that means we just reach wave 20 wave 40 60 80 and so on so we just reach one of those big waves now what we're gonna do once we're in here is uh, we're gonna declare int that is going to be loot index and we'll do current wave divided by 20 but then to make sure we don't get any um, additional decimal numbers, we're going to cast that as an int. So wave 19, this is still going to return 0. Wave 20, this is going to return 1. Wave 40, 2. 39 would be still 1. So uh, we're just getting rid of all the numbers after the decimal. Now this way, we get, what we can do is say um, loot manager dot instance unlock loot. Oops. And we are going to unlock the loot at the index loot index plus 2 because 0, 1, and 2. That's the 3 first one. And then that would be, uh, if you reach wave 20, that would be 1 right here. So eventually you do 1 plus 2. That's index number 3, which is the fourth loot. It's a little bit hard to, um, <laughs> a little bit hard to just place that around, but you know, arrays are, are zero base, and the way we're calculating that here it's not really zero base so we're just converting it so it fits in the array okay so technically this should be working um, fine so let's go ahead and just give it a try now I'm gonna go in the game and let's let's first see where are we exactly what is our current progress we're currently on wave 20 okay so that's going to be a problem the reason is as you can tell we didn't we did not unlock the plank loot the next item and the reason is we never really reach um, wave 20. We just we were wave 20 when the game started, so we don't really reach it, and we never really call that code. 
which is going to cause some problem in the end. But um, let's just test out what we've made a second ago. So I just reset my progress, going, going to go inside of the game. And I am going to wait until I reach wave 20. So I'll pause the video and I'll be right back. And I'm back just in time with some teas. <laughs> directly on the way 20 that's so good it's like i was born for this okay so we just hit wave 20 and um if you can tell right here we've unlocked the plank so that's very good so um this works this works super good but now what happens is if we go out of the game and then we come back we should still be on wave 20 technically so current starting wave 20 but we don't see our thing anymore it's not there because every game we're starting fresh, and you know, when you're starting fresh, you're going, you're doing a unlock loot on index zero, on index one and two. But then, if you're on wave twenty, you should be doing, uh, you should be doing that on wave, um, not wave, sorry, loot number three as well. So, let's go ahead and address that problem. So let's go ahead and address that problem. We're going to be going in the game manager. And um, at the very top here, we do starting wave is equal to our starting level, which is just fine. But we're going to have a sneaky little line here. We'll do a for loop. So for int i is equal to uh, 0, as long as i is smaller than int starting wave divided by 20, i++. plus plus, And then we can go ahead and just um, unlock loot for every single i we have. So loot manager dot instance unlock loot and let's just think about this a little bit so um this is going to be equal to zero at first so technically we should be doing something like i plus three i think that makes sense let's just test it out and if it doesn't i'll i'll know right away okay so in the game we launch this, we go into currency, and there it is, we got our plank. Because we're starting on wave 20. So everything seems to be working just fine now. I'm just wondering, are we able to actually loot some plank? And yeah, right there, we just looted a plank. And also rock, as you can tell. Um, you can see now that we have the icons, what exactly we're looting. However, it's still not really pretty, and it flashes some kind of bug we need to fix as well. But as you can tell right now, we just looted another plank. Isn't that wonderful? So guys, that's about it for this very, very small episode, but this is a feature we needed to implement before we publish a game, so we have, you know, some kind of item progression. And um, if we just take a look quickly at what needs to be done next, there ain't a lot of things to be done next. We're going to be playing with the Google Play developer console a little bit um, in the future, and we'll publish our APK, and then, like I said, I'm going to go back and do some art. So guys, that is going to be pretty much it for this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Uh, thanks a lot for all the support you've been giving me. We reached like 7,000 subscribers, which is insane. I haven't even been here for a year. Um, okay, so enough, enough of that, enough of that bragging. Um, yeah, if you have any comment or question, leave them in the comment section below. Other than that, please subscribe for more tutorials like these, and I will see you guys next time.